now we move to the third part of this video calculation of NDVI of multiple layers and we will use GRASS GIS for this purpose so we can see that I have uh, clipped all the data from 2010 to 2022 for both the bands B1 and B2 so I will import these data to GRASS GIS so first of all I'll create uh, add one more folder so this is the folder where I am going to use the grass so in the console CD so working directory change here and now from the data we can use this add existing or create new database so this is the folder we are going to select so uh, we are going to create a new location So this is the new location and I add one geo reference data file. So we will use the T file we already created. So any one of this will be okay. So I will just for example I will use 2014 B1 and next so this is WGS 84 uh, and projection is long longitude latitude finish and then we import this data has changed to this uh, location and we can see that the data is imported pro properly now we'll import all other layers from using r dot import so uh, we import starting from 2010 so uh, import so we can just click the up, up arrow and then change this to B2 and this to B2 again 14 B1 already we have done so 14 B2 we are going to add So again up arrow key and then 18 B1 18 B1 again up arrow key 18 output and input should be same
now for 2022 we need to be careful while importing all the data so we can see that all the four uh, year data of both the bands has been imported here now we are going to calculate the uh, NDVI we'll use i.vi and then click uh, to get this interface so this tool will be used so name of the RT, uh, output raster we keep ndvi.2010 and inputs will be the red channel will be band 1 of 2010 so probably we uh, yes 2010 band 1 and 2010 b2 and that's all and then if we run this so NDVI is calculated for 2010 so we can just uh, uh, use the up arrow key and then change change this output and change these two inputs and enter Two thousand eighteen, 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 and enter. So, in this, we will do two processes one is calculation of NDVI and reclassification of NDVI so now remaining is 2022 so we change this to 2022 so now we will create uh, the rules for the reclassification of the data set so uh, we will keep minus 1 to 0 as 0 and 0, uh, zero to 0 0.1 as 1 0 0.1 to 0 0.3 as 2 0 0.3 to 0 0.5 as 3 0 0.5 to 0 0.7 as 4 0 0.7 and above will be 5. So we have 5, uh, 6 categories of uh, land use classification. So 0 is most probably snow covered area or maybe river sediments and this can be bare, bare land and this can be 
built up area and so on and this will be densely forested area but we need to research whether it is uh, the classification is proper or not but in this uh, exercise we will use this for the classification so i will uh, change this to uh, ndvi rule dot txt and i will use this rule file to classify all the ndvi so let us use r dot record and then classify uh, classify this ndvi 2010 and name of uh, output will be the class 2010 and code will be uh, as we have said here ndvi rule dot text so now uh, everything is okay so we will run this So if we click the up arrow, we can see this one and we change this to 14 and rules will be the same. So again, 18. Now twenty twenty two. So we have completed the calculation of uh, NDVI and the classification of NDVI. In the next part, I will show you how to analyze the land use change from all the declassified data sets.